Hello, welcome to Crusader Kings 3. Today, we will embark upon the journey of the most pious person to ever live. So pious that other people knelt down and genuflected whenever he entered the room. So pious that his sweat wasn't actually sweat, but rather holy water. And mothers of newborn babes would seek to place their children beneath him when he perspired in order to baptize their children in his bodily fluids. So pious that whenever he opened his mouth to speak, Everyone else opened their own mouths for hope that some of his holy saliva would enter their mouths, and the saliva, naturally, moved out of his mouth so pious that everyone tried to touch their skin to his skin. We began in the year of ancient 867, and we'll begin in someplace power like East France... Francia, but instead of Ludwig II, we're going to play as a literal boy. We'll begin by giving him flowing long blonde hair. There we are in a long flowing, maybe not quite that Santa Claus. Perfection. His eyes are literally white. He has Voldemort disease. Don't draw any more attention to it. But he's not flawless. We're just going to open his mouth because we need the saliva to get out of his mouth to other people. <laughs> there we are. He's permanently happy now. Happier and with your mouth open. Now he just looks... It's the difference between inhuman and just kind of creepy. We'll put him at there. That's pretty creepy, but also maybe he just has a problem where he's too friendly to other people. This is why he has so pious. Let's bring in his lower lip so it looks like he's going... It looks like he's biting his lip all the time and and sucking in his lower lip. Now he looks like that SpongeBob meme. This guy is just mwah, perfect. And we, we'll shrink that down too. Actually, I like that. I like that nice and big. And although he won't have omnipresence, he's going to have awfully large ears with which to hear everything. He sees you when you're sleeping. He watches you when you're sleeping. And again, although he doesn't have omnipresence, he needs to be able to smell everything. Enormous nose. Huge Chad nose. Okay, ladies. It's funny, putting his eyes slightly up just balances the entire face out and will make him look more intense. There we go. Extremely deep, mysterious eyes. Just how I like my people. And we'll close his eyes just so that he doesn't have to see the impurities of the world. He's too pure. Perfect. Now we'll give him enough skills in other trees to be passable. Really good for all uh, intents and purposes. Mainly he's a philosopher. And he extremely virtuous man. Such a nice man. We can already see how he's going to age and grow up. We'll set him up at about 23. Now he needs Theologian to gain piety every month. We'll give him other traits that will just keep him alive. Uh, we do want to make him pretty strong because he's going to try to convert the entire world to re one religion. We'll see how amazing this will work out by the time we're done. We're just going to give him- we're going to make it really easy. He was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. And this is the reason why he can waste his time on things like making everyone worship him. He'll Grum, warrior of the faith, Saeed. Yes, well, he is the chosen one. Of course he is. Oh, just look at him. Let's give him some kind of dark backstory. Like he's trying to overcompensate for it by making everyone worship him. He secretly is in love with his sister. Who is- uh, we don't even know who his sister is yet. I'm sure she's hot. Just look at this guy. Okay, I think I'm completely happy with this man. Why don't any of the characters in CK3 character creator menu have pants on? This is my third go-round. I think it's time to have these questions answered. Paradox? Why, Paradox? Can we get some pants? With nothing but a t-shirt on. I never felt so beautiful. Okay, I've accidentally made him into more of a god. Well, it's no matter. Um, we won't be doing anything besides converting the world to a religion, so... Get used to it. Okay, his name is going to be Peter. No. P. Peter. Just P. Peter. Yeah. Peter H. Alright, there he is. Peter H. We don't know what H stands for, but maybe like holy or something. Remember, you know how sometimes people say Jesus H. Christ? We could make him. And for his dynasty, it's not have to wear pants on Zoom meetings. Do I? Not have to wear pants on Zoom meetings, do I? I'm just paying homage to the year 2020. And that chicken works, so that's fine. And let's take this, it looks like a sneed from Dr. Seuss's The Lorax, having been hung out to dry. Let's begin. 
All right. Life couldn't be better for King Peter. So let's begin. Oh, why? We want a learning lifestyle so that we can make our own religion. Theology focus, yes. Ever just unlock it all. And we'll have all of this unlocked in no time, so I'm just going to start going down the tree. Okay, so King Peter, there he is. Just an absolutely dashing man. God, this guy might be scarier than even than me. Okay. So, for King Peter, we need to create a religion that's so good that anybody who encounters it just goes like, I think I've forgotten everything about my entire past and I'm gonna give up the rest of my life to worshipping this me. And they'll love it. It's like a salesman's pitch, except it affects people's sense of purpose in life. So, as we raise piety at a breathtaking rate, we need to decide on a set of beliefs for our new religion that will be, number one, fun for everyone to participate in activities that involve worshipping me, even if I'm not necessarily necessarily there in person to be with them. This will be a global phenomenon. Think of it like the Harlem Shake, you know? You don't need to be in Harlem to enjoy the Harlem Shake. You can have a good time doing a Harlem Shake anywhere, wherever you live, whether you're alone or just with a few of your friends. Every day in my house, I have to have a good Harlem shake several times a day or I'll wind up in the newspaper. We also need beliefs that include everyone from Iceland all the way to China and everywhere in between. Now, pause. pause. I'm gonna talk about holy for a few minutes. Ultimately, our goal is to create a new faith. We need to get this number up faster. Ignore our country for just a few minutes while my archbishop is insulted, while I hold a mystical communion. I truly am the only one who knows. I get divine guidance. Well, we'll use up piety, but we gain learning lifestyle experience, which will help us gain more piety, so... I will begin, yes, of course, and at the same time, we're going on a pilgrimage. Okay, the most long and expensive trip is to Jerusalem, which seems all the way down to Jerusalem, right about here. And we're out of money! That's okay, we'll get more with our new religion. It's time to go. All right, I gain divine guidance. I get stress gain and stress loss. Who even knows what this means? Game, make up your mind. Look, I'm I'm using up years, I'm already 24. Ah, I have an opportunity to declare my feelings on heathens. Sympathy to heathens will help me convert the entire world. Yes, absolutely. As my party passes through a town, I notice a throng of people filling the market square. The day of judgment is nigh. Repent, repent, I say, or you shall be damned for all eternity. Uh, we've got a phrase in Latin, De die autem ila et ora nemo skit, which roughly translates to, we don't know when we're all gonna die, so we're gonna gain faith. And I am known for my awesome! I gained a level- okay, so this number has gone up. I just need to roughly double that in order to, uh, convert the world to worshipping me. Ah, oh, fantastic, I made it to Jerusalem. Gained 625 faith. The trip of a lifetime, another level of faith. Now, I assume we're going to need more piety once we start the faith, so we'll wait until we have a good surplus of faith. Wait until I'm in good standing with uh, Christianity. I mean, Martin Luther was a very dedicated monk. I'm going to betray my bishop, and look how close we're getting to being a paragon. Yes, a paragon of virtue, and declare that everyone else is a heretic. And I'm only 26! My god, how did I gain this much prestige and clout? This is like the guy in your philosophy class who used to make excellent points. But nobody thought of him as a teacher's pet or anything. Everyone just respected him because there was so much camaraderie at the institution. We have discovered that the world is going to end. I'm going to keep this a secret so that my bishop likes me more for a little while. Great. Good point, Sialnath. You will be rewarded in the afterlife. Yes, make myself a profit to reduce the price of faith creation. And bingo, now it's half price. It's like Black Friday, but for, uh, non-existent religions. And bingo. Paragon of virtue. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hmm. Duke Arnulf has created a faction against me. I'm going to send him a poem. I apparently I'll gain more piety from this, and since I don't I don't really care how much land I have, I want an entire I want the whole world, not just this uh idiot. He was humiliated by this poem. Okay, well, murder. Or rather, let's request that he be excommunicated. <laughs> Let's just murder him. I have a 95% chance anyway because I'm so good. Okay, we're at war. I'm gonna have to get married really fast. Sure. Send us some Ir Irish people. Maybe that'll help the war. 
Great, we have an alliance. Let's call on the great Irish army for some help. Please help send the, send some Guinness and great. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Well, we're about to kill the guy who's uh, leading the faction against me anyway, so we've poisoned his spider and great. All right, we've stopped the war by killing. We cut the head off of the dragon, so to speak, and there's no more war. Everybody's happy. Nobody question anything. And look at how close I am to becoming a religious icon. My wife is pregnant with the person. It happens that she too is a mastermind philosopher. Did not notice this when I married her, but okay. My daughter will be neglected. Princess neglected. Oh, 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 wonderful. So it's just a matter of waiting a few more minutes. I'm just going to let this enemy faction win this war. I don't really care if they take a couple of our counties. After all, it's time to get started. All right, I'm gonna be the bigger man you won. Take a uh, Havelberg or whatever the hell you want. And I am a religious icon now. At the tender age of 38, it's time to get started. Okay, Pope, I'm sorry. Everyone will embrace elephants. Yes, elephant worship is what I'm proposing. Pee. Tourism. Pee. Oops. Pee. Tourist. Oh, I don't have enough characters. We'll just call them that. Single follower will be. We'll make it like a pediatrician. And the Latin, pediatricia. Okay, it's somewhat similar to the uh, doctrines of better Catholicism that we created last time. I still believe in these. Uh, again, I'm going to make it so that everyone has to worship me. Okay, I get appointed for life. Temporal leader, which will obviously be me. We're a pluralist faith. Uh, everyone can worship me. Female dominant. Why is female dominated so expensive? Okay, we'll make everyone equal. Just, uh, I think that, that covers all corners of the world. Maybe it's a bit too progressive for the time. It's a very progressive faith. Marriage type, anybody you want. The more, the merrier. Keep switching as many times as you want. It encourages there to be more people. Totally unrestricted. Uh, bastards are fine. Anybody can do anybody. Deviancy, expected. Not even accepted, expected. Witchcraft, encouraged. Kinslang, completely acceptable too. Sometimes you gotta get rid of some of them. And just keep getting more people. That's our entire focus. Anyone can do it. This religion is becoming rather expensive to create. Absolutely, clergy. Have all the kids you want. Now, we need to have our faith grow faster. We need more adherence over time. So, natural primitivism means civilization is unnatural, a futile and blasphemous attempt by man to impose order on an inherently unordered creation. We embrace naturism and live as God intended, wild and free. We will be nudists. We also encourage polyamory, having many lovers, so that there are more of us. And if we take carnal exaltation, that means that we will we'll all gain fertility. And lustfulness is a virtue. Unfortunately, I will be sinful because I am chaste. I forgot about this, but ignore it. I'm the faith founder, so it's fine. This is going to cost me almost all of the piety, but we're going to just... <laughs> This is pretty much the opposite of the faith that I just came from. People will love this faith. Absolutely. Yes. I'm ripped. Finally, I can show my true self. Unfortunately, I can't show you any of the things that are in the game anymore. All right, let's look at the world's faith map. Uh, okay, we have Peterism showing up in dotted parts of the world. We have, that's our elephant, Cologne, Canterbury. We still have all of the old uh, Christian holy sites. There's elephants everywhere. Okay, P is spreading. Uh, the rest of the world, you know, the... The rest of the world will slowly convert to our faith, I'm pretty confident. Oh my god, my council. Okay, the faith is already beginning to spread, that's fantastic. The faith map is the only map we'll be looking at. Look at all of the world that's already slowly converting over to P. I think that this new religion has potential. Let's start trying to convert everybody to our faith. It does cost us piety, but this is the reason why we are... Just so good at praying, and, uh, I suppose I should just take as many wives as I can now, because, I mean, it would- it would be against my religion not to. Why doesn't anyone want to marry me anymore? We need to convert more of the world. In particular, I'm enjoying the new portraits, and, I mean, in our origins, this is- this is a Christian faith. We'll go down in history and slowly spread P throughout the world. Well, I have to admit, it's been a lot of stress, uh, changing into a Christian religion that's basically the opposite of all of the Christian beliefs. 
I also neglected our holy sites at Cologne and uh, Canterbury. Uh, so unfortunately, I can't actually become the head of faith now, but nonetheless, it's France and England for the next time are the best places to control. Or the Holy Roman Empire if you have Rome. So that's quite unfortunate because we don't have any of these places. Nonetheless, the doctrines of P are self-evident truths. Anyone, even a child, could see that. And now it just says P all over the map. They're P. 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 And in this fact, I take great comfort. Well, I hope you learned about Crusader Kings. I certainly did. Um, I think I'm gonna go do the Harlem Shake now. As always, I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. Thanks for watching. As always, a major thanks to my patrons. They helped to spread pee. And I'm very grateful for that. Until next time.